Hi, uh, I'm Eddie, and uh, this is Eddie's Pottery. Uh, pugging clay, Illinois clay is what we're pugging, and uh, uh, this is clay that was dug up by uh, Freeland's Excavating in uh, Mount Zion, and uh, uh, I reprocessed the clay. You've seen that from the previous videos, and now I've uh, used uh, the sieve. I used the sieve that I made to strain the clay, and actually, uh, you know, I turned it into a a slip uh, or a slurry, whatever you want to call it, and strained it through a 80 mesh screen and dried it out in the molds. Uh, that I made from pure and simple uh, with plaster and I, I did roughly uh, uh, I don't know about 80 pounds about 80 pounds of clay 75 80 pounds of clay uh, that I've reprocessed and because I I did it once already and I had to do it a second time because I used a 70 mesh screen and it left too much grog in the in the material too much grog and it was too gritty. Now, if I was just making flower pot, just flower pots, you know that that would be fine for something just outside. But I make just a little bit more than that, so I needed a really finer mesh to uh, uh, refine the process. So uh, uh, you know, uh, watch the video, enjoy the video, and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, uh, I'm I'm going to run through the process and. Uh, 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 hopefully it'll give you some ideas. Uh, great piece of equipment right here. Uh, I would, if you're going to process a lot of clay, uh, I would advise in buying one of these because, uh, you know, if you, if you, uh, unless you like wedging clay, I don't like to wedge clay. So I bought me one of these. I don't have to do none of that. I all I do is just run it through there. It takes out all it blends it all real good it takes out uh, uh, has a vacuum pump it will take out the air air so you don't have air bubbles in, within your clay so uh, 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 you know just watch it and uh, get maybe it'll give you some ideas on what you can do thank you what I'm doing here is I I'm I'm made a lot of molds with using a uh, pure and simple mold right here and to help me uh, dry out the the actual raw clay that I had after I run it through the sieve and uh, using the 80 mesh screen what I've done here is I have dried out uh, roughly I've dried out about between 80 to a hundred pounds of clay and I'm I'm a uh, I'm gonna it's gonna save uh, you know it, it's a big savings uh, especially uh, after uh, buying everything you know I buy a lot of clay and especially if you make big pieces which I really intend on doing whoop there's the cat uh, but if you're making big pieces where it takes you 50 to uh, you know uh, 50 pounds plus uh, you're going to save a lot of money. So, hey, bear with me and we're going to pug some... I'm not going to turn the machine on right away because mainly it's going to make a lot of noise. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to run the clay through and I'm going to run it through first to where the chamber will get completely full and I'll keep adding that clay back in here and then I'm going to turn on the the pump which will pull all the air out of out of the chamber and that way it will help you uh, to where you know I don't have I won't have to wedge I should not have to wedge the clay once I put turn on the the compressor because it's going to pull, it's going to, it's a vacuum pump is what it is. It's going to pull all that air out of there. Pulling out, the, pulling out the air is what you always fight when you have bubbles. So, so it helps you. So, so 
bear here we go and I'm gonna turn this rascal on so it's gonna make a lot of noise at first but you know it'll it'll get better I'm getting ready to turn on the vacuum pump is what I'm going to do. Just remember, when operating any piece of equipment, <laughs> uh, if I didn't say this, some people would be upset, please follow all the, the safety guidelines of the, of the equipment. Manufacturer will tell you what you should do and what you should not do. So... Well, I think this is running. All I know is this right here, that there is as smooth as smooth can be where it's, it's pulled all the, the, the air out of it with that vacuum pump. So, uh, this is the way your clay should look when you get, even when you, if you go and buy it from a, a supplier or a distributor, when they, they, they pug you these little uh, tubes of clay so uh, uh, that's the way it's supposed to look when, when you open up a package now uh, when you do dry out clay you have to knead it and, and and wedge it to make it look like this by doing it with the machine you don't have to do no wedging and that's that's what I want to do. I mean, so it saves a lot of time and wear and tear on your body. So, uh, I want to, I've got a whole lot of clay here left to pug, and I really want to thank you for uh, watching the video. And uh, if you have any ideas or uh, uh, questions about what I've done, Please, uh, you know, drop me a line because uh, I, I, I go back in and look at it every now and then. So, you know, as long as you're not in a hurry, but I will do my best to get back to you to, to let you know. You know, uh, so uh, uh, this is homemade clay, and it's a big cost savings, especially if you make big pieces. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you again next time.